up guys, Juggalo here. I'm doing this in my bedroom on the wooden desk that I have here just because it looks better and there's a little bit more lighting here. Um, pretty much, before you touch any electronics component, make sure you ground yourself on something metal. Uh, like, like this right here. It's plastic, okay? Don't be fooled. It's plastic. Always ground yourself on something metal. So I have a little cabinet here. And I'm just touching that, grounding myself. I also touched brass, uh, which are the doorknobs, to make sure I am grounded. So just make sure you're grounded. If not, you might ruin your component, but I haven't really seen any issues uh, with me anyway. If I didn't ground myself, everything worked. So it's just a precaution, you know. All right. We're going to be taking apart the GTX 670. Um, pretty much I have a whole bunch of different bits because sometimes these screws are normal, big. Uh, Asus likes to use torque screws for some reason. I think EVJ is just a standard cross tip. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I tried to clean the best I could for this whole wooden thing. And it was definitely dirty, so I took a red rag and I uh, took that apart and everything. So I'm basically going to try to keep this whole uh, plastic piece on. So we'll see what's all going on here. All right, we got one, two screws. We have two screws on the side, guys. One here and one here. And we do on the other side. And I don't see any other screws other than when I take off my ring. You have the screw right here, and then you have the screws right here holding uh, down the cooler. So I'm hoping I don't have to do too many screws, but we'll see. But I'm thinking uh, maybe I might be able to just do these screws here and just and then just pop it off. But we will see. All right, and uh, I am basically doing this uh, one-handed in terms of I can't really see what I'm doing, so I have to go and look at the. Uh, at the angle I'm looking at so I do apologize for the delay I'm actually trying to make sure everything I do is actually in the camera you know okay this is one screw and also make sure you, you have a container or something to put your screws in and don't lose them and make sure for the love of God the container doesn't drop because if you drop it you're gonna have fun trying to find screws, that's for sure. Okay, seems like it's pretty easy to take this apart. Uh, and then on top of that, I see something already that I don't like. And they used push pins to hold this crap in right here. So if you look right in there, they used a push pin. And I do not like push pins. I think they're retarded. They're slacking. So I'm just gonna see if I can take this right off with just doing these screws right here. But we'll see. Cause I have a feeling it's gonna be attached to the cooler too. So yeah. See if I can. I think I have to undo this too. This screw right here. It's not coming undone, so we'll see if I have another screw. Take that out. There we go. That's ah, a longer screw. Usually these are pretty short. Alright, I'm going to put that at the top so I don't mess that up. Okay. And now, it looks like it can just, I'm just seeing how it goes. 
and uh, I see all right there we go they have the push pins that hold in the uh, cooler so here you go let me show you guys what I was doing basically I'm finagling it around seeing how everything is held down and everything so okay this is the fan so I could probably pop that out real quick and then I'm gonna look on the other side to make sure this isn't holding on to anything else and uh, if it is I'm gonna have to undo these other screws on the sides and everything unfortunately so let me go ahead and check I might have to do these screws right here so let me go ahead and take those apart and these are spring loaded so make sure you have a uh, well wait a minute I think I saw a little nut they have a nut in here that holds it too and the screwdriver that I was using just dropped so let's see if I can do all four, undo all four of these and this just pop out hopefully so hopefully it just comes out like this but the other one didn't so Okay, we have that done. Now let's see if it will come apart. Voila, there you go. Came apart that easy. Alright, next up is taking off the fan uh, header. Now, if I am smart, I should have a flat head. Alright, basically. I know I keep on saying basically and I'm sorry about that I'm trying to cut down on that but let me go back alright what you want to do for taking off the fan header is A you can use your nail um, or you can take a flathead like so of course it's zoomed in a lot so there you go there's a flathead so with the flathead all you have to do is just stick it in underneath and lift up like so and hopefully I'm not in the way okay I am totally in the way and I apologize for that so let me see if I can back it up but you're just gonna do this and you're gonna lift up and uh, let me see if I can lower my camera so it's so roller coaster ride alright and let me back it up as far as the zoom and everything okay now let me see if I can get it focused on here of course I dropped that sorry about this guys but you take the flathead screwdriver and you're just gonna lift up on the other side and I'm trying to do it where I'm holding it but showing you so just lift up like that and sometimes it might have a clip or sometimes you might be able to pull it uh, straight up and down uh, just depending on the, the thing so let me go ahead and it looks like you might be able to check it out yeah I think I'm just gonna use my uh, nails for this one but generally you just have to lift up on it So with your nail and or flathead screwdriver just lift up and it will pop right out generally. And here you go. Here is the GTX 670 and if you notice, let me zoom out, it is definitely smaller than the uh, GTX 680. So I think they said it's like 9 point something inches but I think it might be a little smaller. So, they might be right. I think they're right about that. So let me go ahead and put it on the 9. 
on my measuring tape, see, nine inches. And if you do that, it's actually a little shorter than that, the PCB. So let me see, or let me try to measure the PCB. Like I'm giving a rust, uh, not a rust, but rough estimate. I think it might be like 6.4 inches on um, just the PCB itself. And it's a little, I would say with the, eh, I would call it six and a half inches for the, for this card right here. And then for you guys who love to see the GPU in all its glory, that's right, get some isopropyl alcohol as always. Make sure if you can get 90%, get it. But if you can, uh, if you can't do it and get 70%, just make sure it's dried all the way, okay, before you start applying stuff. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let me see if I can uh, zoom out again. I think I'm zoomed out as much as I can, but since I lowered the camera. It's actually going to inhibit you guys from seeing what I'm actually doing. So, up you go. Okay. And then, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright. Get all the nasty stuff off. Sometimes you got to use the dry end. Got all that stuff off. Okay. I have two Q-tips, so I'm getting this two Q-tips cleaned worth, if that makes sense at all. So, let me take this. Got some isopropyl alcohol on it. And then we'll clean it again. Just trying to get all that goopy gray stuff off the circuitry and everything. Even though it's non-conductive, you know, just want to make it look clean. Okay, now I'm just going to try to dry off and then I'll go over the stuff I didn't get. The second Q-tip. Looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt. But anyways, here it is. Alright. So, there it is, and let me go ahead and bring it up close to the camera so you guys can see it. And this is the uh, GTX 670 reference uh, by EVGA, and it is definitely smaller. So that being said, I'm going to more than likely have to get a uh, water block from like coolant or something like that. And I just... Notice something, this thing's soldered on crooked right here. I doubt if it matters, and I hope it doesn't matter. So, there you go. Do another close-up shot. And then here's the back. With the two screws on it, of course, I have to take these off. But, it looks like they have two holes. Like, one was for, I don't know why there's two holes here. But I'll look that up. So there you go. Here it is in all its glory. I'm going to have to use a universal water block for this guy because it's not, um, doesn't work with the GTX 680 water blocks. As you can tell, it's way shorter, which I need for my Star Wars AT, -AT build. Also, uh, they finally started putting covers on the uh, SLI slots which are nice as well as the HDMI and display port right here so they're starting to do that which Asus has been doing for quite some time alright guys that's how you take apart the GTX 670 hopefully this video isn't too long for you guys and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button you guys have a great day peace out